So this is our wire harness that attached to our hands-free lift gate module. And then in this particular tutorial, we're gonna show you how to install and what it behavior to anticipate when you're doing the installation. So let's go. All right, so what we have to do and ignore the posi tap for now is that in effort to use our harness, you have to take off this left side. And how do you know which side it is? This is the only side where there's a red wire that is intended for 12 volts. So what you do is you disconnect this wire by pushing down on this gray knob clip. So hold on to the back, push down, and then it should release just like that. Now, first thing you do is that you're gonna install our harness in here. But to do that, I would advise you to get this connected first. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the original, plug it in to our harness, make sure it snaps in place, and then go ahead and finesse it and make sure that snaps in place. Now, when this happens, the first thing that's gonna happen is you may or may not be able to close your trunk. It's okay, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna show you what the behavior looks like right now. So after removing our hardness and then using our hardness with the OEM hardness, you may exhibit the issue where you can't close a trunk and you'll get this three chime. And it goes, -na 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 -na. and then let's see if you can hear it again. Don't be alarmed, everything is fine. What happened is when you're using a brand new hardness that gets disconnected, the locking mechanism has to re-engage. So what you do is you manually close your trunk and then go ahead and press it to unlock and everything would be reinitiated. So again, don't be alarmed if it doesn't close, you have to manually close it and then unlock it again. And then that will allow you to re-engage the trunk. So now we're back in here. We're gonna go ahead and connect the only three pin left that's part of our harness into the connector that's supplied. And this is the only other white pin connector. And go ahead and plug it in, make sure it matches up, but there's really only one directional. Connect that piece. And then we're gonna connect the other piece on the foot module. And before we install the foot module, we always connect and test. So we're gonna show you what it looks like on the other side. So at this point, we actually took the harness and we wrapped it around the rear door just for testing not for wire routing and then we're going to connect the the module nail and then make sure it aligns there's only really one way you see this little knob tip right here well that's the top and of course this is the top and this just goes and snaps in place now it already activated so we pre-taped the bottom for you so you know that this is where the sensor tapes down and this is where the foot action takes place so basically if you wave your feet like this your garage i mean your trunk should close and then when you wave it back up it should unlock so that pretty much concludes how to use our harness i know we have a separate video for installing uh, and wire routing for the module. And when everything is said and done, again, you should be able to unlock it manually, but also use your foot. Hey, thank you for your support. If you like the video, click on the likes. If you have any comments, absolutely let us know. And thank you for the music.